All right, guys, it's Nick from Lively Outdoors. Just got back from the range for shooting the Zev OZ-9C. Uh, I absolutely love this gun. I've got 3,002 rounds through it with zero malfunctions. I put 100 rounds through uh, it suppressed today with my 45 suppressor, and I put a uh, half by 28 9mm uh, piston in it, and it malfunctioned every single round. Uh, I've got to drop the, the spring weight. I'm fixing to order a new guide rod and spring. That way I can just pop it in whenever I'm shooting suppress. I'm going to drop it down to probably 14 pound and 12 pound. See which one works better and uh, stick with that one. But uh, I've, like I say, I've got, I've got 3,002 rounds through it with zero malfunctions. After I shot the suppressor and that's with it not fully locking back or in, and cycling completely, it got super gunked up. And uh, just in those 100 rounds, so I decided I was going to take it and run a few more hundred rounds through it without the suppressor on it, just to see how it acted all gunked up after that many rounds. And it ran 100% flawless. Guys, I absolutely love this gun. This gun is phenomenal. Uh, just figured I'd finish up this video with that. I'm going to, whenever I get the spring in there, I'm going to go back out and shoot it suppress and see how that works uh, again with the reduced powered uh, recoil springs. But all in all, it's, it's just the gun, just firing without the suppressor. It is good to go for carry. That uh, I love shadow systems. They're excellent guns. I've had a few issues with them. Uh, and now they're saying not to use Glock mags in them because uh, they will tend to fall out after using the same mags over and over because their mag catches are designed different uh, out of a different plastic. And they're saying they're harder. I, I don't buy that if it's steel i understand that but uh i've got certain mags that i shoot I've, I've got 20 mags that i shoot at the range and i've got you know about 25 30 uh, mags that i actually use for carry that are all glock mags that uh i don't that way i don't know how i can keep them separated uh everything's around flawless the gun's 100 percent it it looks as good as it shoots. I mean, and it shoots as good as it looks. Eh, it's, it's excellent. Anyway, I will see you guys next time. Enjoy the video. I'm going to drop it, I guess, about right here. Hope y'all had a Merry Christmas. Have an excellent New Year. See y'all after a while. <laughs> What's up, folks? It's Nick from Lively Outdoors. I got my mom with me. We're going to go out to Thor, and I'm running the... Uh, uh, Zev OZ9C again. I'm at right at 2,500 rounds so far with zero malfunctions. I'm gonna uh, throw in a piston in my uh, Gemtech Lunar 45 suppressor and run it. And you know how kind of gummy up that gets. But uh, uh, I'm gonna see how it runs with that. And uh, hopefully it'll work out pretty good. But I'll tell you what, I'm I'm really really liking. This is Evo Z9C. It's a, a solid, solid pistol. And the slide finish is amazing, and the barrel finish is too. It just, it, it makes it feel like it's it's all lubed up whenever it's not even lubed up. Uh, it's kind of like a Nighthawk Wilson, you know, a, a Dan Wesson, you know, any, any higher in 1911, that's kind of what it reminds me of. But it's got a little bit looser tolerances. It's kind of like a Glock. So it's kind of like you're, you're happy in between point. But uh, anyway, we're going to run out here and we're going to shoot this thing suppressed, see how it runs. And after today, I'm going to give it the okay to carry it. I actually carried it uh, Friday and yesterday. Anyway, we'll see y'all at the range. Still can't believe that. Can I, how close can I get? <laughs> how close can I get? However close you want. I just want to see, just want to see if this cycles first. <laughs> now. Still doesn't. I'm gonna have to put a different recoil spring in it. That's all there is to it. It's quiet, man. Even with it shorter like that, yeah, though. Yeah, it is. I mean, that's yeah. very quiet. <coughs> yeah. It's about two pounds less spring, and I'll be good. Yeah. Oh, that is quiet, man. It really is. Yeah. I'm out. 
Well, it's single shot for right now, but I'll have that fixed pretty quick. That's a nine millimeter? Yeah, this is a Zev OZ9C. It's a nine millimeter. About the same size as the Glock 19. It seems to be getting a little better, but I think, yeah. Once I once I drop a different spring in there, it'll it'll just it'll completely cycle really quick. But it's it's night and day different than the uh, 45. I mean, the 45 is not loud, but this is just quiet. I mean, whenever you can hear it hit the the dirt up there, you know. Yes, this thing runs like a top, man. And I mean, this thing is gunked up from that suppress all the blowback. Well, yeah, I, I absolutely love that Zev, man. Zev OZ9C, I'm gonna have to get a little bit lighter recoil spring, so I'm just gonna buy another guide rod and uh, put a uh, like a 12 pound spring in there because with my 45 can, it's not coming all the way back to the back. And so I'll put a little bit, I'll drop a little bit lighter recoil spring in. You can tell it's wanting to, but it just won't do it. But man, this thing, it's got a bunch of gunk in it right now from the suppressor. I just shot three more mags out of it. I'm at about, I'm almost at about 3,000 rounds right now. So uh, entirely, not just today, but entirely in this gun. But after shooting suppress, I just wanted to see how it would actually perform with all the sludge and crap build up in there. So we're going to run it. And it just chugs, man. It just keeps on chugging. Tell you what, I'm uh, definitely impressed. Hey, here's one of my lipstick rounds from a while ago. I'll pick them up and run these two in there real quick. That's from when I was shooting the suppressor, the uh, wouldn't fully cycle. I used to not like red dots, but they are definitely growing on me, folks. I don't feel like I can shoot as quick because I'm looking for the dot instead of my sights whenever I need to be looking for my sights and then the dot picks up on it and then use the dot for longer range. But let me tell you, this has definitely got my approval and that's a fact jack and this thing is dirty i mean <laughs> it's filthy dirty after shooting that can so the zev oz9c is good to go hey i got another mag i'm gonna shoot it real quick we'll shoot it at about 50 see if i can pick up a few we got 15 rounds It's slick, it runs. This is hands down, definitely my new carry gun, folks. I like it, I love it. I'd want some more of it. Now I'm gonna shoot my can. I took my top two baffles off right here. And uh, I'm gonna put my 45 piston back in there and shoot this bad boy that short instead of that tall so we're gonna do that real quick and see what happens that's a lot shorter 
I didn't think it'd be that short, but that's that's pretty short. Looks neat though. Really? And I could load up ammo that would be a lot quieter than this, but <clears throat> for now, this is what we're gonna work with. Oh yeah, that looks cool short. See how loud it is compared to the longer version. Not much, uh -huh. it's a little bit, but not, not too bad. That's, that's still pretty quiet. Yeah. I mean, all I did was take two baffles out. Boy, it rings the bell a lot louder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can tell when a 45 hits that steel plate. That's for sure. These guys walked out a while ago, got out of this truck, and they pulled and went over here. Well, there were other people that were over here, and they were shooting down here. And I was just trying to be nice and start up a conversation. I went over there, completely forgot that these people got out of this car that were actually shooting over in the VIP range. And these people just kind of cheated their way over there because they didn't want to carry a bunch of stuff. And uh, I forgot that they're, the people that were shooting here, their car's right there. And so I went over there and I was looking at Silverado and I was talking to them, talking it up and talking about how pretty it was and all this and that and how cool it was. And I was talking about, you know, mine, they were talking about mine. And then they went right over to their car that was parked over here. Okay. And I realized that it wasn't even theirs. I mean, I knew it in the first place, but for some reason I had a little brain fart in there and, and didn't, uh, <laughs> it just, uh, yeah, my mom's over there cracking up because she knows exactly what's going on. <coughs> Just funny. Oh, this thing just points so good. You can tell it's like made to be suppressed. Yeah. You hear how much louder the ring on a 45 is than a 9? Yeah. I mean, that's just night and day. I love it. I love this thing, man. <laughs> Switching back and forth between the long to short. I mean, you basically just pull the two baffles out. They're stuck together. Then you put the cap back on. Oh, yeah. Then if you need them back on, take the cap off, put the two baffles in, screw your cap back down. It's a piece of, piece of cake, but yeah. I think I like it longer yeah. on this gun. But I'll shoot the backdrop and see if we can tell the difference. I can't tell any difference. Uh, Shoot one more time. Maybe a slight. A little bit. Yeah. 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 It's it's a little bit less. I mean, you can still hear it hitting the mud up there. I mean, that's more. That's basically what you're hearing is the mud hit hitting the mud and, the, yeah. and then this cycling. I mean, you can hear it hit the the dirt. I'll shoot that back mud over there. I mean, you can hear it smack the mud that's so cool I like it yeah all right I'm gonna go see if I can't hook a large mouth in the face real quick yeah see what my mom's a trooper I told her I said I'd like to go over there and See if I can't stick one in the face. She's like, well, why don't you go ahead and do it? I'll just sit here in the truck. I said, well, I got an extra rod back there if you want to fish. Nah, I think I'm just gonna sit here. So she was sitting over there in the truck waiting on me to fish. After we just got done shooting suppressed 45s and 9s, I mean, let me tell you folks, that's one awesome mom right there. I am very, very blessed. no fishing sign. Let's see if I can't pick something up right here. getting hit I'm getting hit folks number one yeah 
There he is. There he is. Thank you, buddy. He just made my day. He just made my day for that. I'm gonna be easy on getting this hook out of you too. There we go, folks. Number one of the day.